Welcome to our fourth episode. Have you ever been really, really thirsty? Thirsty like swollen tongue and parched throat. Water for us today, for most of us, is a commodity that we hardly pay any attention to. We take it for granted. We open the faucet in our kitchen or we buy a bottle of water and we drink it. A human needs about two liters of water per day to stay healthy. When I reached Kalahari for the first time in 1996, I discovered that the San Bushman tribe of the Kalahari survives on only 200 milliliters per day. That's about this much. Half a glass for 24 hours. Most of their children were dying before the age of five because of lack of access to clean water. Even though at that time I was a very young student with no financial means, I just couldn't live with myself until I did something about it. I needed to provide a solution for the Bushmen to have clean water. In 2001, when I returned back to the Kalahari, I came with my first water system powered by solar technology. 60 people in a village that were leaking dewdrops on leaves in the morning to survive that day. Or they were searching deep in the, in the Kalahari, digging for roots to see if they have water in them so they can survive. These people tasted for the first time clean, safe water from underground, from under their feet. It is very hard to describe in words how they reacted to this clean water. At the push of a button, they had clean water pumping in a water tank of 5,000 liters. To have clean water to wash their children, to plant food, and to drink in abundance. The impact on me was even greater. I realized then that my purpose in life is to give water to the children of Africa. A water system pumps water for about 20 years. After 20 years, we change the pump and it pumps another 20 years free of charge with energy coming from the sun. What can be more amazing than this? This gives them the strength to fight the waterborne diseases and it extends their life till they reach a full old age. It is a total miracle to see clean water in the desert provided to people that had no water before. In a month from now, I will be leaving for Africa. We will install two water systems powered by solar technology to two villages, totaling of about 650 people, adults and children. More than 300 children will be provided with clean, safe water. For me, this is one of the greatest expectations that I can have from 2020, is to give water to these children in Africa. Yes, a system is $5,000. So if you can consider that, it might be a high expense at the first sight. But let me show you something. This water system of $5,000 provides 350 people with water for two decades. That's about $15 per person for 20 years to have clean, safe water. Is it worth it? I spent $15 last week buying the necessary water for me to drink. How much do you spend for water in your country? I also live in Canada. I know how much we spend for water there, even though Canada has 60% of the world's fresh water resource. Is it worth it? Absolutely because this water will provide for, two, for 20 years, will provide clean, safe water to children that otherwise would not have it. 
for those of you that have already become a pilgrim, that are already contributing to these causes and these projects, I want to thank you, but not just me. The children of Africa want to thank you because you are actually their heroes. You actually take a child that would not have access to clean water. They would drink water from the sewage or from the puddles from the rain on the ground, driven by desperation to drink any water they can find. And we are providing a great alternative to give them safe and clean water. You are the ones that actually are responsible for that, and I want to thank you for that. For those of you that have not yet become a pilgrim, and you are interested in becoming a partner with us in this great global event, I invite you to join us. Go on our website or contact me directly through the email on the website or through the uh, Facebook page. And I will show you how you can become a partner with us to change these children's lives for, for the rest of their lives.